hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and to my older returning subscribers you guys are welcome thank you so much for your love and your support i don't take it for granted in case you've not subscribed please do also click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you get notified i got a question or rather a complaint okay on the previous video i posted about the seasonal work visa in netherlands and this person i could tell from the comment that this person was so so <laughs> i don't even want to say the word but whatever and i was like okay this person was saying oh you guys just make videos and you don't even post links to jobs that one can apply for in these countries you don't show us how we can go about looking for jobs in these countries blah 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 and i was like okay i'm gonna do my research and i'll come back with answers so this is my answer right here all right so i have done my research and this is a very 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 legit one okay because this is on the countries immigration website this is where i am at now and it's the public register recognized sponsors this was last updated on the 7th of june 2022 so most recently we are still in the month of june and it was very very recently updated okay now um just a brief explanation of what this register sponsor thing um, is like or what or how it works similar to uk okay a list of licensed or registered sponsors these companies all right they are you know giving the license to sponsor foreigners from abroad okay or people who are not like native to the country or people who are not like citizens in the country so they are licensed giving a kind of license to sponsor foreigners to come work for them in their companies all right and legitimately so the government recognizes these people or these companies as licensed sponsors and registered with in this case of netherlands the chamber of commerce so i'll just show you guys because this register is um broken down into four different um you know categories so i'm going to show you guys and yes now i have tried to download this and it is really 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 bulky for the very first one the au pair i think it's just about two pages the researcher directive is just about four pages so i'll just take you through and then i will share with you guys some other companies that you know um recruit people from abroad and grant visa sponsorship in netherlands okay in whatever field or profession so you can you guys can just go and check it out and then i also talk about linkedin so if this is what you're interested in stay tuned so that i can get all of the details okay so i have downloaded this already however i will just download it again for the purpose of this video okay and i'm just going to use my um app to open it up now this is a very a very very long list you guys it is so long these are like their registration numbers in the chamber of commerce which is applicable to netherlands okay so these are a list of companies they are so 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 much so many companies you guys so many companies and it's i think all the way to z it's a lot it's a lot and i don't even think we can even finish it see and on this on each page is about 50 something right yeah we have 162 pages and on each page is about 50 something companies so let's just say 50 50 times 162 that's a lot of companies so this is what it looks like now i'll take you guys through the other categories for the au pair for the researchers and for one other one yeah i, I can I, when i get there i'll show you guys all right so for the au pair it's actually very very i've downloaded it before so yeah that's why it's like download again so you can see um for this one it's just two pages 
and you can easily if you want to um if you're interested in taking care of children because i know this is one um, way through which people like migrate to other countries and it's really an interesting one really because you get to just take care of these kids you know and in their families and then um you can you know go sightseeing just like tourism sort of so you're like killing um two birds with one stone so that's just what it is like so if it is what you're interested in you have a flair for taking care of children you love them so much yeah you can just go through make applications these are licensed sponsors so you're not afraid of the fact that oh would these people grant me sponsorship and something like that no these ones actually grant sponsorship so yeah try your luck and see the next one is the public register for educational institutions okay and um, I'm just going to download it right now but in the course of doing that I just want to say that if you're a teacher you, you have qualifications in teaching and things like that you might want to explore this route okay now there are a lot of uh, okay about three pages so but you have to be careful though because um, you know in Netherlands they speak Dutch and they might require that you to have like um, the language proficiency in Dutch. So, I mean, is I'm just you know stating that fact. It just might be what is applicable to them. So, I'm not saying you might not get it if you try. I'm not saying okay. I'm just saying just to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So that's just what I'm saying here. So if you go through it, if you like, you know, you can um teach in their schools if you go through their websites or their career sites and if you like their opportunities there based on the job description then please go ahead and apply and i wish you all the best and i'm going to go to the last bit now which is for researchers all right so let us click on the public register researcher directive all right so for this one i think there are about four pages or so yeah four pages so these are like you know those research institutions and institutions for research so if you are into research you're a scientist you you know you 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 do stuff that has to do with research and you're very interested in migrating to netherlands as a researcher you want to try and apply to some of these um companies okay or organizations and see if they have vacancies okay if they have vacancies you want to try and apply and see if they you're going to be accepted and you know subsequently um work with them and then and um, stay with them or something like that so that's just what i wanted to show you guys this this um hzpc i've seen it when i was carrying, carrying out my research so yeah you might just want to check them out okay so yeah that's it so now i'm just going to quickly share with you guys um those companies that you can search up for and then try and find out if they have job vacancies and how you can actually search for job vacancies on their career sites okay so you guys i was talking about how you can get to search for companies go to their career site and know if they have job vacancies available in their organizations or in their company so for you to check now i talked about hzpc a couple of seconds ago or minutes and I, I just went and typed HZPC. So if you pick a company on the um, register, just go type it in on Google and then you'll be able to get to see, you know, the one that is like their website. Now I'm on like their website right now for HZPC. For you to check their career site, click on these three horizontal lines that are on the right hand side of your screen. Click on it. There are different language options, but I'm choosing English because it's English that I understand. So go to their see publications and all that. So you might want to read up on them and everything. Go to their jobs. Now you see jobs. For some of them, you see vacancies. For some of them, you see things like um um 
um, work with us, you know, something like that. That's like what you're going to be seeing. So working at HZPC, they're all about potatoes. Now they will like check out, check our vacancies. Now I'm trying to check for their vacancies. I don't know if they have any one, but yeah, I'm just trying to check. So now they're, they're they have they have vacancies for researcher bioinformatics, regional transition manager, financial administrator, logistics coordinator. Now, these are some of the vacancies that they have. Okay. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and um, um, open the application and go ahead and, you know, apply and all that. And I wish you all the best. Remember, this is a licensed company. Okay. In Netherlands, they are licensed to sponsor a foreigner, okay? Someone who is not living and working in Netherlands at the moment. They are licensed to sponsor this person. So, it totally depends on the company, okay? And at the time they advertise the job, if they are willing, okay, when they have checked... Because you know this whole thing about... Um, recruiting a foreigner from abroad and all that it has to do with the fact that they must have searched and searched and searched in their country or even neighboring countries like their neighboring eu countries and they do not find anybody like they can't find anybody who can fit into these roles and then they have to bring someone from abroad but that should not deter you from applying for jobs. I'm not discouraging you. I'm just telling you what you're up against so that you know that you're not just, um, you know, competing with yourself or against yourself, but there are other people that you're going to compete with. So you want to put your CV together, make sure that you're doing everything in line with job description, present your CV, your cover letter, everything to convince these people that you're the man, you're the woman for the job. You know what I mean? So that is just what it is about. Okay. I'm not trying to discourage you from applying. Please and please, as much as possible, apply to as many companies. I'm telling you, one is definitely going to click, okay? Yeah, that is it. Another thing I want to also talk about is LinkedIn. You guys, make good use of your LinkedIn. Enhance your LinkedIn profile. You can go check the job um, icon on LinkedIn, click on it, type the job you want, change the location to Netherlands. When you type the job you want, put visa sponsorship or visa attached to it. Okay. And that way, or sponsorship attached to it, that way you'll be able to see jobs that are available with sponsorship. Okay. In the country, Netherlands, in this case that you're looking for. Okay, so that is it. Okay, let's now go over to I'll just mention some of these companies. You can go to their career sites and I wish you all the best, guys. So, guys, these are some of the companies. Okay, you can go to their career site, search for job vacancies. If you fit into any of them, put in your applications, and I wish you all the best. Please subscribe, share, make your comments, like this video until I come your way again next time, you guys. Bye.